We have five ballot amendments and one referendum that are placed before the voters this year. Uh, the Libertarian Party of Georgia actually released our uh, recommendation. Yes, um, we have the five uh, ballot amendments. The Libertarian Party of Georgia is recommending a no vote on all five, as well as a no vote on the referendum. Well, we've seen that there are a lot of issues to end up causing the taxpayers to pay more, whether it's for a tax increase or a fee increase. Against anything that raises the taxes or raises the fees on the Georgia taxpayer. On Amendment 1, uh, we spoke a little bit about uh, the, the amendment itself focuses on non compete clauses um, and allowing the Georgia General Assembly to write legislation to enforce those. Um, we're not comfortable with the idea of stifling the job market by keeping people from being able to go to a company that will, will do a better job or starting their own business. So we're, that's, that's the reason for our recommendation for a no vote on Amendment 1. Thank you. 
We have an opportunity to choose something different. We, we've had Democrats in power in the state of Georgia since Reconstruction. We had our first Republican governor uh, elected in 2002. He's been quite a disappointment, in my opinion. Um, but we're looking for the opportunity to, we're looking for an opportunity for our people to get back to work. We're looking for our business to expand. And the problem that we're seeing is that every solution that's being offered by both Democrats and Republicans is more government intervention. Well, what we actually need to do is more deregulation, loosen what the, the barriers to entry to allow more firms to enter the market. The, the underlying issue besides the taxation problem is that government has totally regulated business, so that they can't hire the people. Mr. Donovan, what is the Right now, we're spending about 20% just on interest rates. Within the term of office for the office I'm running for, we're looking at half of your federal tax dollars that you just receive credit for. We're looking at financial collapse. We're not going to be able to pay the bills in the That's in my children's lifetime. That's not in my lifetime. It's turning our jobs right now. out of our The government is living on credit cards. If you live on credit cards, it's a lie. When you live beyond your means, at some point, you've got to live Rules aren't different at the government than they were clever in the education. Mr. Copeland, yes. what's really at stake here for Georgians? You're a Democrat. Talk to us. Well, the most important thing is this election to get a new government, get a new sense of leadership. Right now, for the last eight years, this state has worked in transportation, health, and in education as well. We Keep it for the county to Cap County and watch this show. Go out and vote. Vote for Roy Barnes. We'll turn this state around, and that's the only way this Beyond the race, what is at stake for Georgia is we are going into the next year with a huge hole in our budget. We don't have the money coming down that is poured in from the federal government. And so what's at stake? Our children. Someone in your family is going to end up in that court. So you need to pay close attention to that as well. But in regards to what's at stake here in Georgia, we we are on the right road. If so, we deal as governor, we will move in the right direction. I want to say this. What's at stake here, and you mentioned consumer confidence, mm -hmm. also business confidence level is at an all-time low. Washington, D.C., you know what they need to do? President Obama and Congress, and if you're so fortunate to go there, um, we need to have in Washington, D.C., someone bold enough, bold enough to introduce legislation that specifically says if you don't have the money, you don't put it in the budget. Voters are tired of all this politics. Mm -hmm. okay. Voters want to be sure that jobs are created. Voters want to be sure that the budget, and if it's a libertarian candidate or if it's a Democratic candidate on this side, and perhaps the Republican candidate, at some point, the party politics has to be put aside and people's voice has to be heard. That's why it's not just about the voice. It does come down all the way down to about two votes. In the top time of state court, that is the voice. That is the judge there. <laughs> what we also have here is we really, really do have a, a It there does have time. No. And I want to try to enforce it. If I could. But if I may, I would let the host finish. We do have a movement, and it is called the yeah. Tea Party. And the Tea Party has made some phenomenal strides. Now, 
is a time for the libertarians to ride this way? Well, I don't think that there's necessarily a wave to ride. We saw on, in primary day that there was not a single um, Tea Party candidate that came out uh, in the primary in Georgia. In Georgia, there was, there, there was one in the state that was not running a candidate in the state of We're earning the votes that the Democrats and the Republicans don't present candidates strong enough to cover them. Thank you. 